Today we're back with our final LotMax ST10 Shark install video. This time the feature will be laser engraving. Hey everyone, Chris here, and we have been doing a series of videos on the LotMax SC10 Shark. And that's because there's a lot of features that you can add onto your Shark when you order it for just a little bit of extra cost. You can add auto bed leveling, dual color 3D printing, and laser engraving. Laser engraving is what we're going to be focused on today. We are going to check out the kit, get it installed, and run some tests. But before that, we need to talk about safety. When using any laser, you need to always wear eye protection. Better yet, have an enclosure. Even a cardboard box would be better than nothing. Also, you want to be in a well-ventilated area, and you might consider having a fire extinguisher handy. You never know what might happen, and you want to be prepared. Also, this isn't going to be a review of the shark or the laser engraving part even. It's just an install video to help you get up and running if you have this feature. So let's get started by checking out the kit, then we'll move to the install. So here's what you're going to get with the laser install kit. You get the laser, this is a 1600 milliwatt, and you get the controller that goes with it. You'll get a couple of screws to fix it, and some clips to hold your media down, whatever you're working with. They did throw in a couple of test pieces of wood that we're going to use for today, and some eye protection. I don't remember if I got these or the red ones with the shark, but both of them work the same. So the install of the laser is pretty straightforward. We will have to remove our ABL sensor, it just goes in the same spot here. But it's just these two screws, and we can tuck this someplace while we're not using it. We can just slide that out of the way, and we're going to use those same two screws to put on our laser module. It'll just sit on here as a sidecar to your hot end. So the module's installed, just try to get it as level as possible with the bed. And you don't have to make any modifications to your hot end to use this, nor to the firmware. It should just know that you have the laser installed. The bad part is, is when you have it on a sidecar like this, you're going to lose some build area. When using the laser, you only get 175 in the X, but you do get the full 235 in the Y. I'm just going to run my laser wires up over the top, also securing my touch sensor with a zip tie. We'll make sure we have some slack in here, and we'll just bring it down the side. I'm going to kind of follow the same path that I did with the touch sensor and the second dual color hot end and extruder. And then you have your laser port right down here in front with all the other ports. On your module, you can just take off your foam. The modules will slide on upside down, right like this. Then you have a T-nut that will hook into this extrusion. And here's a look at it from the bottom. We'll get our T-nut lined up into this slot here on top. Slide the pins in. And then we can tighten up that T-nut. It's installed right here underneath the module, it was kind of hard to see, but that should keep it from going anywhere. And for this video, I'm just going to use some of the wood that LotMax gave us with the engraver. We're going to take off our sheet, put our media down, whatever you'd like to use. And with this thin stuff, you can just use the binder clips that LotMax gave you. We have one pretty close to each corner, just make sure you're not going to interfere with anything as you move. You might hit that Y motor if you're not careful, make sure the location on this one is correct but it's moving freely, we should be good. And that's really all there is to the hardware install. If you go ahead and power up, the fan for your laser will come on. If you check out the screen, it'll automatically go into laser mode. And that's really all there is to the hardware setup. It really couldn't be more straightforward. But now we have to move on to the software so we can get a job set up so we can start engraving. Now LotMax does have a version of Cura they use for the 3D printing, but they also use it for the laser engraving. So we'll check that out. So here we are in our LotMax version of Cura, and you'll notice up here on the menu line, we have an option for laser. We'll open laser, and here's our very simple laser work area. So for this one, let's just work black and white. You can do vector, text, or gray. So we'll just click on black and white up here. And let's just use the Chris's Basement logo for a test. So now that we have something pulled in, we can drag it around, move it, make it larger or smaller. We can rotate it, we can flip it, just a few options here to do some transform on it. You also have these setup features over here, and from what I can tell, the energy is the laser intensity, and the lower number is actually more intense than the higher number. Not sure why. 
I'm gonna leave this one as 300. And these are the work speeds. And that's in millimeters a minute. I believe one is the travel speed and one is the actual work speed while it's engraving. The software needs a little bit of polish. It's pretty simple, but it'll probably get us by for now. So we'll just export this to our SD card. And all the G codes that are for your laser will have an LGCO handle on them instead of the regular G code. And now we're gonna go through the sequence of focusing the laser on our material. We have to bring the Z up and down to make sure the laser's at the smallest point that it can be. You can also adjust the focus with the ring here on the laser. Again, it is a laser. Be extremely careful and use your eye protection. So on the screen, I'm gonna hit control. And then I'm gonna hit the center button so we can home X and Y. Then I'm gonna to start to bring the Z up. I'm gonna start at around 100, maybe a little bit more Z height, just to get it focused in. I'm gonna bring Y out a bit, so our laser is sure over the material we wanna cut. This is just to help focus a spot. Make sure you have your eye protection on, and then you can hit turn on laser down here in the corner. You probably can't see that in the camera, but the laser is actually kind of an oblong right now and it needs to be focused. It'll cut, but not accurately. So I brought the laser down quite a bit. I'm gonna turn the laser back on and now it's a much finer point. It's gonna be able to engrave a lot faster the more fine the point is. After you're happy with your test, you shouldn't have to readjust the Z too much. I like to kind of remember how high the laser was. It's actually not very high off the material at all. And you're gonna to have to change this with different heights of material. So definitely have a section of material that you can test with or another piece so you can get that laser dialed in correctly. Remember most of the time, the smaller the dot, the better it's going to engrave. And now that the laser's focused, we should be able to just go to print, select the G code that we made in the slicer, hit print, then it's gonna home and it's gonna start the laser job based on the software settings we used. Wherever you had it set up in the orientation on that software, is where it's going to burn it on your material. So we'll just hit print. And our job is started, and at the safety of everyone and my camera, I'll be back when it's done. And it's done. Now that job took about 45 minutes to complete. I'm sure you could adjust the power and the work speed. That laser should be able to cut like this a little bit faster, but you might have to play with it a bit. All in all, it came out okay. Now I'm not real impressed with their software, there's not a lot of knobs you can play with there, but it is just raw G-code. They use an M5 and an M3 to turn the laser on and off. You could probably use those commands in another tool if you'd like. There's a lot of different laser engraving softwares out there that are way more robust than this thing's going to be. So there it is, laser engraving on your LotMax SC10 Shark. Now the install of the laser couldn't have been any easier. The module and controller they give you that goes right into the front of the printer, it's really easy to install, it automatically gets you into laser mode, and it's going to be easy to remove when you want to go back to 3D printing. No changes needed in the firmware. Now the software they give you to set up your jobs, it is really lacking. There's just not much there and you can't control many options. But it does just create G-code, so I think you can use other software if you wish to get around that. Hopefully LotMax adds more features to that in the future. That's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, when using a laser, safety first, and I will see you very soon on the next one.